Australia's entertainment scene bids farewell to Barry Humphreys, a comedy icon, with a prestigious Sydney State funeral. Celebrating his life and legacy, the event was a memorable tribute to a figure who left an indelible mark on Australian culture. Australian entertainment legend Barry Humphreys received a state funeral in Sydney. Known for his memorable character Dame Edna Everidge, Barry died on April 22 due to complications after hip surgery. Both New South Wales and Victoria showed interest in holding a state funeral in their capitals. Yet, Barry's family reportedly turned down Victoria's offer. The Prime Minister of Australia, Anthony Albanese, announced a state memorial for Barry at the Sydney Opera House would be held on December 15, 2023, at 11 a.m. Anthony praised Barry as a cherished Australian and a significant loss to the arts noting the Australian government's collaboration with New South Wales to honour this beloved entertainer. Chris Minns, the NSW premier, agreed, highlighting Barry's status as a top comedic talent in Australia. Barry Humphreys was one of our nation's greatest ever comedic talents, and his passing marks the end of an era in Australian entertainment, Chris shared. Chris also mentioned that the Sydney Opera House is an ideal spot for Barry's memorable farewell, considering its importance in Australian arts and culture. The star-studded ceremony, which was hosted by showbiz TV reporter Richard Wilkins, began with a who's who of entertainment along with Barry's family stopping for photos as the way they made their way into the Sydney Opera House. Barry's wife, Elizabeth Spencer, his children Rupert Humphreys, Oscar Humphreys and Tessa Humphreys were among the first to arrive. Followed by Jackie Weaver, John Howard, former Prime Minister of Australia and his wife Jeanette Howard, John Howard. Former Prime Minister of Australia and his wife Jeanette Howard, and TV presenter Carrie Ann Kennerly. Guests even arrived dressed as Dame Edna as a tribute to Barry. During the ceremony, a statement was made by King Charles, who called Barry just hours ahead of his death. His Majesty's message read, I suspect that all those who appeared on stage or on TV with Barry's damage, or who found her appearing at the back of the royal box will have shared that unique sensation with fear and fun combined. Those who tried to stand on their dignity soon lost their footing. Those who wondered whether Australia's housewife superstar might this time just go too far were always proved right. No one was safe. Barry Humphreys through his creations, poked and prodded us, exposed pretensions, punctured pomposity surfaced insecurities, but most of all, made us laugh at ourselves. This cultured and erudite man with his love of literature in the visual arts and passion for Weimar Cabaret could not have been more different from his various stage incarnations. Like so many, I have been deeply saddened by his passing life really won't be the same without him. May our gladiola bloom in celebration of his memory.